Hi, welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. I'm Stefan, and today we're talking about the Moto Gadget M Lock. Now, the Moto Gadget M Lock is a wireless ignition switch that you can use to replace a traditional keyed ignition switch, and that lets you incorporate some modern technology even on a vintage bike. Now, this system is based on RFID technology, which uses an individual RFID tag that you program to a reader, and that maintains security for your bike. Once you've programmed it, only the keys you've programmed will actually start the bike. The way that this works is um, using near-field technology. That means that the RFID tag needs to be uh, within 30 to 40 millimeters from the reader, and to use it, you basically swipe the key past the reader, that turns the bike on. When you wanna turn it off, you swipe the key again, and it shuts off. So that's the overview on how this thing works. Let's take a look at what you actually get. They've traded in the uh, boring white box for an even more boring clear plastic bag, and inside we've got instructions. These are pretty handy. You get a reader, you get two key fobs, there is a relay, and a fuse and fuse holder. So let's start talking about these key fobs. There are two fobs in here, and one of them you'll notice has a red dot on it. This is the programming key fob. This is known as the master key. It is unique to each individual reader. You don't want to lose this. If you lose the red key, there's nothing that we can do. You have to replace the reader as well. Now, the other one, which has the M-Lock logo on it and is all black, that's the actual key fob. So after you program using the red key, this is the one that you actually use to start the bike. The relay, this is used on applications that don't have an M unit installed. So if you're installing this just on a bike as a replacement just for the ignition switch, you'll need to use the relay. This little guy provides enough power to control the relay, but it doesn't provide enough power to actually run the bike. And then finally, we've got the uh, fuse and fuse holder, and that's necessary just because the wires that control this and the circuitry inside are fairly sensitive, so you need to make sure that that's fused at one amp. All right, so now that we've kind of run over the overview of this, let's take a look at how to install one. All right, here we've got a totally half-ass uh, setup that we kind of quickly cobbled together for demonstration purposes only. When you install it on your bike, do a better job than this. It won't be too hard. Things to note, I've neglected to put the fuse in, but I can run over the basics of the wiring. So positive goes to the positive input for the M unit and also the red wire for the RFID reader. Uh, red is red, red is positive, no, no brainer there. Black uh, negative goes to ground and to the ground terminal of the M unit and the black wire of the RFID reader. The third and final wire on the reader is brown and that's the trigger wire that goes to the lock input on the M unit. Part of the reason we decided to demonstrate this with an M unit is because that's not actually covered in the manual very well and it's also a whole lot easier to set up um, for this demonstration. Now, a few things to note about installation. You also need to make a mount for your RFID reader. That mount needs to make sure that you don't have any metal between the reader and the key fob. It's okay to have a little bit of foam or leather or a plastic side cover or something like that, but you need to make sure you've got at least, you can get within 30 uh, millimeters or about an inch and no metal in between. There's a couple of mounting holes in the back. You can use those to bolt it up to some kind of a bracket, but all that stuff is gonna be up to you. All right, so how do you actually program this thing? You're gonna need your red key, move all the other keys away, bring the red key in. You'll see just a very brief flash on the back and the lights will race around on the M unit. Move that key away, introduce the keys that you wanna teach. You see the light on the back, they race around, it means it saw that, and then back in with the red key and we've taught it. All right, so now it knows this key, it only works with this key. If there were any other keys that you had programmed previously because we just went through a teach cycle, it will have forgotten them. Every time you teach new keys, you need to teach all the keys every time. Um, so there you go. That's the, uh, the basics of how the M-Lock works, but I do wanna let you know about a couple things that I really don't like about this product. Uh, the first is that the way that I ride, I don't like having to fish out my keys, turn on my bike, put them away, go for a ride, then fish them back out again to turn off my bike. I, uh, I find that kind of annoying, but there's good news because there's a solution to that, and that is a little optional glass tube RFID reader 
And what you do with this guy is you would stitch this tiny little thing, it's about the size of a grain of rice or maybe a small uh, pill or something. You would stitch that into maybe like a fingertip of a glove or a sleeve of a jacket, um, even the end of your belt or who knows what, just something that you're always gonna have when you're riding. And then you can just kind of like wave your hand over the reader and like magic, your bike comes to life. So again, we can go back through that teaching operation, enter the teach mode. We'll teach this tiny little guy and teach the main key and then exit teach mode. And now this tiny little grain of rice can turn that whole system on. All right, the second thing that I don't like about this system is that it doesn't work with bikes that have built-in security systems from the factory, uh, also known as immobilizers. So if your ECU is looking for some kind of special code from a, a special key or from the gauges or something like that, like you'll see on Ducatis or some of the Harleys out there, this system isn't gonna be compatible with that. And the third and final thing I don't like about this is that in some custom applications, we can run into problems where uh, you have a large displacement bike with a very small battery because you're trying to save space and you're right kind of on the limit of what, what you can handle for battery size. In those cases, you get a large voltage drop when you try and start the bike. And during that voltage drop, you can actually turn off the M-lock. The voltage gets so low that it drops out, shuts off, and it resets the entire system and you have to start over. And you'll really never get the bike started that way because it'll always turn off unless you bump start it. So I don't really like that. The best solution for that is to find a larger capacity battery that has more cold cranking amps and that will solve the problem. We also know almost better than anybody that you don't always have that option for more space and a bigger battery. And if you are on a custom project that has space constraints like that and you are installing an M-Lock and have this problem, let us know. We've got a couple of tricks that we can, we can tell you, but they're just a little too complicated to explain in this video. And last but not least, we wanted to show an installation on an actual motorcycle. So we brought in Pyro, and this is one of the first bikes we installed the M-Lock on. I've got the key fob right here and the reader is located just inside this frame member. So if I want to turn the bike on, I can just bring the key fob in and it turns on. Uh, the important thing to note is there's no metal in between the reader and the key fob. It's in and around metal, but it's not, there's no metal blocking access to the reader. Uh, also notice that the bike doesn't automatically start. The M-Lock doesn't turn the engine over, it just turns the bike on. And then of course, if you want to start it, use the starter button. Uh, to turn the bike off, we just bring the key fob back in and turn the bike off. And there you have it, that's the M-Lock. It's a pretty interesting bit of technology that you can use on virtually any motorcycle. Um, it's nice and simple wireless technology that keeps the front of the bike nice and clean. You don't have any keys jingling around on the triple clamp. And that's really all there is to it. So if you guys have any questions on your installation or your application, send us an email, give us a phone call. We're always here to help and we wanna see you get your project on the road. Thanks for watching.